Good old John Barry. He's my good so, buddy. He sells art here in town to all the hotels and stuff. Our art guy, John, helps put up a lot of the art here. <laughs> Brought the golden <laughs> retriever in, because we're a dog-friendly office. He just comes over here to, to drop off some art, brings his dog with him, who I babysit sometimes. He's a great dog. His dog's name's Charlie. And while he's talking to Porter and Lorenzo, <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk, and Brady just like slowly walks towards the desk, and he has this look and this slight, like sly grim on, grin on his face. And he looks at me and he just goes, yo, Nick. <laughs> I'm like, what? He goes, yo, his dog just took a, took a sh in the hallway of the stinker. <laughs> Man, that's a big one. <laughs> look at that. You look like a horse had just been through here. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> and Brady's like, hey, should I like tell him now? I'm like, yeah, Brady, go tell him that his dog poops. And then like, I'm trying to like walk over and talk to John and subtly like interrupt the conversation. Like, hey, John, like FYI, your dog is like a big old doof right here on our office floor. Did you really? Yeah, where? Or by our office. It's really? a giant mound. Really? Oh, yeah, that's good. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, are we chewing out twice this morning? <coughs> what John did was he picked up the poop, put it in a bag, and then he put it on Porter's door for him to see it when he came in. If anyone's watching this, I hope you're not eating right now. He thought it was so funny. He's like a little 12 year old. I just went to his 40th birthday party, he sh but he acts like he's 12. He's a little kid. Bro, come here. Come here. Look at him. He's got all the characteristics of a perfect dog. Doesn't dump. He don't. He doesn't dump in offices. Such a good dog. <laughs>